applying for a new job and waiting to hear if you have an interview and then hoping they get back with you after that interview can be so frustrating. But applying with VIP Kit isn't that way. This smart demo that I'm going over with you today is the interview process and it can be done on your time. Be sure to stay until the end because there I walk through each slide on how I would teach them and I incorporate VIP Kids requirements within my teaching of those slides so you can get a really good feel on what that looks like and what VIP Kid is expecting of you. So that will be at the end of this video. If you haven't applied for VIP Kid, feel free to use my code or follow the link in this video's description. If you do either of those things, then email me so that I can send you my starter packet. You can see what comes in that packet in this video's description. It's filled with freebies, things that I use every day in my classroom, and it comes with my help. I will be here for you every step of the way through the hiring process, and when you become a new teacher, I'm not gonna disappear when you start teaching. I will still be around to offer my assistance, offer my advice, my guidance, if you want it, <laughs> as you get started, so that it's the smoothest transition that it can be. If you have already applied for VIP Kid and don't have a referring teacher yet, you can still add my code up until you, fin you take this demo. So go ahead and apply my code and email me and you find the place to apply it here. So log on to your VIP Kid account in the top right corner, click account and then select add a referring teacher and then add my code. It's R-E-B-E-C-0945. R-E-B-E-C-0945. After you add that code, email me so that I can get you that starter packet. So if you want a referring teacher, someone to walk you through the process, be sure to apply a code. This is the time to do that because once you complete this demo, you can no longer add a referring teacher. Download the VIP Kit app to your smartphone. Then log in with the same login and password that you used when you applied. And I'll tell you you're ready for the smart demo. Smart demo can only be taken on a smartphone. So you have three options here. First, we'll look at the introduction. This tells you that you will have some material to review. Then you will take a five question multiple choice quiz about that material. Then you will take the two and a half minute recorded smart demo. Now select materials. Here you have some reading to do and a few videos to watch. This will only take you a few minutes and I highly recommend you spend those few minutes looking at this because this shows some key things that they want to see in the smart demo and these same things are what you will be using to teach your classes. Lastly, start the smart demo, go through the five multiple choice questions, then they will show you the slide, take a few moments to prepare for that slide and before you click record. So I have some tips to help you make a really great impression during the interview. And the first thing I highly recommend that you have is an educational background behind you. They are looking for this in your Smart Demo. So be thinking about something you might have around the house, maybe some alphabet letters. If you don't have anything, you could draw some alphabet letters. Just keep it simple and have something behind you. Make it colorful if you want, keep it alphabetical. It can be really, really simple. And if you want my referral, some of those freebies in my packet will work perfectly. You print them out, stick them on behind you, and that would be really, really helpful to have. So be sure to email me if you're my referral so I can send you your backdrop. <laughs> the next thing you need to know to really be professional is to be well lit. They need to see your face. So you should bring in some lights around the house, position yourself in a bright room so they can see your face because they want to see your facial expressions. They want to see how you're pronouncing words because the kids that they're learning to make sounds that they have never made before. So they need to be able to see that you're well lit and being well lit for this interview will prove to them that, you know, I'm capable of these things. I'm capable of having a backdrop. I'm capable of being well lit and presenting a professional class. Like we talked about the, before, the smart demo can only be done on a smartphone. And so instead of holding it and doing one hand <laughs> motions and things, prop it up at eye level so you can talk to the camera and still have your hands free. And then if it's propped at eye level, 
it, you won't be moving it by holding it, and they'll be able to see your face more clearly. And so prop it up where you can see your hand motions, have kind of a range around you. You can see some of your backdrops, see your hand motions, still see your face. Um, so bring a pile of books, or whatever you've got, and prop that up to make the best impression. Now, another reason you need to have it propped up is so you can maximize your hand motions, the TPR as we call them, total physical response. You want to be able to point to things, to have the student speak. There's so many things you need both your hands free for as you're communicating and teaching. When you get to the portion of the interview where they want you to do the slides, they will bring up one of the six slides and you will need a few props. So set your phone down and gather the things you need, collect your thoughts before you click record because you can have a, take a little time. Just don't close the app. If you close the app, you'll have to redo the questions and you might get a new slide. So unless you want a new slide, don't close the app and um, as you gather the things you need. I recommend having some sort of stuffed animal or a doll. Um, if you don't have anything around the house, maybe your pet. <laughs> Do you have any dog toys? Maybe your niece, your nephew, your neighbor. <laughs> you can just find some sort of animal or doll to help demonstrate the slides. That would be ideal. Now, if you can think of any other props to use when you see that slide, if something comes to mind that you own, go ahead and bring it. But you need at least one thing. So I recommend a stuffed creature of some sort. Now, I do have these little boy and girl. These are Megan Mike from the VIP Kid. Um, they work as great props for he, she, things like that. So if you are my referral, you will get these in your starter packet and, um, so be sure to email me if you're my referral for these. They are so helpful. I use them every day in my classes. Super, super great. The last thing you need is going to be a marker board and markers. I use these whiteboards so often in my teaching. This just came from the Dollar Tree and this came from maybe Target. This is magnetic. I've got a little like, handle on it. <laughs> um, so this is magnetic and so it works great for to put props on. So um, when you teach, you definitely want to get a magnetic whiteboard. And then these little flipperoo guys are so handy from the Dollar Tree. Um, I use colored markers um, and black, uh, but you just use what you have for now. You can use a piece of paper and a pen. And as I go through the slides in a minute, I will show you what I put on the slides and how I incorporate the slides into the class. So these things that I mentioned are what is going to set you apart and help you be professional. Things they expect, they expect you to use lighting, they expect you to use TPR and hand motions, they expect these things of you and when you do a good job and you put the thought into it, it's going to show that you are professional and you know how to present a classroom well. Be sure you're implementing TPR, total physical response. This is hand motions. We're going to be doing all sorts of hand motions. Who knows? We'll go over more about the hand motions in the individual slides later. Um, but this is something that's definitely going to be important. So this is another reason you need to prop that phone up. It's at eye level and you can use hand motions. You have your hands free to better help you teach, to better help you demonstrate. Now let's dive into those slides. I'm going to go over all six of them one at a time. I'm going to tell you what VIP Kid expects you to do and then I'm just going to demonstrate how I would teach it. So glean inspiration from how I teach and teach in your own unique way. This is use the, my suggestions as a base and build on it what is maintainable for your wonderful, unique teaching style. The first thing you want to do when you click that record button is introduce yourself. Keep it brief, share your professional teaching experience if you have any, your experience with children, and what your degree, share about your degree. I would begin like this. Hi, my name is Teacher Rebecca and I have a bachelor's degree in English. I have two years experience teaching and one of my students was an ESL learner. I also have six years experience volunteering with children. That would be my introduction. So I'm sharing that I have a bachelor's degree and your degree does not need to be in English or in um, education. So, But if your degree is in one of those things, do mention it. If you have a master's degree and something relevant to ESL, then mention that as well. You want to share your professional experience if it's related to teaching. So if you have a semester or a few years teaching, share that, especially if it's with ESL 
or share if you have any type of ESL certificates, any type of teaching certificates. The more you can share that's relevant to teaching with VIP Kid, the better, because it could increase your base pay. Also, be sure to include your volunteer work or if it's not volunteer, your paid work with children because they want to know that you have at least two years experience. And remember, this is very wide range of things they're looking for. It's not just professional work with children. It's not just educational work with children. They just want to know that you have two years work experience with children. The first slide we're going to go over is the soccer slide. And if you see in the top right corner, it says I, that means introduce and it's vocabulary. So we're introducing the new word soccer to them. So we're going to implement those things we learned in the teaching foundations and we are going to teach for about two minutes. If you're ready, let's dive right in. I'll show you the props I use. They're very simple. Soccer. Soccer. Good. Circle. Soccer. Yes. Very good. He plays soccer. Yes, very good. He plays soccer. Plays. Yes, he plays soccer. Very good. Great job. Thirsty. Thirsty. He is thirsty. He is thirsty. She? She is thirsty. Yes, she is thirsty. I? I am thirsty. Very good. Good job. Bye. And there you go. You've tapped the slide. Good job. So we do have six slides. Number one down, five to go. Whatever. <laughs> five to go. You'll get the feel for it more and more as we go. And I know you'll build confidence. And this isn't complicated. I drew a soccer ball, the word soccer. I wrote a sentence. You don't have to have a flippy back and forth <laughs> reversible whiteboard. You can use pen and paper. And this is extra. You don't have to do this, but you do have about two minutes to teach the slide. There you have it. We finished soccer. All right, next let's look at the slide for fun and game. So here we have an eye for introducing vocabulary. We're introducing the words fun and game. So we want to be able to demonstrate those. So if you have some type of little toy or little game around the house, um, you can use that as a prop. Um, I use a Rubik's Cube often in my classes and I have um, a ball. So just a few simple things that I'm going to use to teach this slide. So the vocabulary words, is fun. words are fun and game and the sentence is the game is fun. So. I'm going to also use the whiteboard again with the sentence and then I have the vocabulary words on this side. Um, this is just another way that they can see it, um, another thing to show them to, you know, increase engagement and interest. So let's dive into this slide. Fun. 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 Good job. Fun. Fun. Good. G aim. Game. Game. Good. Game. The game is fun. Yes, the game is fun. Yay. Very good. Bye. So this slide doesn't give us as much to work off of as the last slide. There's just less content on this slide. So do a little extra repeating. Do a little extra playing, have a little extra fun if you need to pull in another prop. Fun can be easy. Uh. 
fun. Just you want to communicate the idea of fun. And then if you have some sort of thing to demonstrate game, it's all, all be helpful to extend this slide. It's very, very short without adding a lot of words because we're teaching someone with limited vocabulary. We can't um, elaborate. We just, because they won't understand. We can extend a little bit orange like that but we can't say this ball is orange this fun ball is orange because that's all over their head so keep it simple if you need to add a little time find a simple way to extend fun orange orange things like that so next we have um, the word like and here if you notice in the top right corner is an I and it says verb so we're introducing a verb so instead of a vocabulary word we have a verb so we're introducing the action word like and so if you can write on a paper or marker board um, break down the difference in like and likes it's very simple emphasize if you can underline if you don't have colorful pens or something um, to help them see the difference um, and then I drew a little soccer ball and a little ping pong paddle and ball sorts and I will use yeah those are my those are my props for this one. Oh, the the little boy and girl Megan Mike so I'll use these so we can change up the verb the sentence is I like to play soccer and we can change that up with he likes to play soccer and she likes to play soccer to help extend the very short slide so I'll demonstrate like 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 good circle like great job i like to play soccer i like to play soccer great job she likes to play ping pong. She likes to play ping pong. Great job. He likes. He likes to play soccer. Very good. She like to play ping pong? No, <laughs> she likes to play ping pong. Great job, very good, bye. So there you have it. If you can just say bye at the end, you don't have to be elaborate in your closing. It's just a simple encouragement and bye. Next we'll do the run slide, and this is another introduction to vocabulary, nope, verb, introduction to verb, the action word run. So I've broken it down here with the I, you, we, they run, he, she, it runs, and I will be using the little Megan Mike to demonstrate the word run, as well as a stuffed animal. So keep it simple, use what you have. If you don't have anything like this, then you can draw stick figures of a Megan and Mike, <laughs> it, or boy and a girl. Keep it simple. All right, let's dive into this. Let's run to the slide. Run. <sighs> run. Good. <laughs> run. Good. He runs. It. Runs. It runs. Good, good. She runs. She runs. Good. They run. Good. He run. He runs. Good. She runs? Yes. She runs. I runs? I run. Good job. Bye. Now we're going to introduce a grammar slide. I have 
this and that written on a whiteboard and I'm going to put it in proximity to my body to demonstrate those words. I drew an apple and I have a picture of a mom. So bring a real apple if you got one. If you don't have any type of picture of a mom, you could draw a stick family with an arrow to the mom to emphasize it as you point and things like that. So let's dive in. This. This. <laughs> that. That. This. 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 Yes. That. That. Very good. This is my mom. Is my mom very good? That is an apple. That is an apple. Great job. Bye. The first thing we want to do is isolate the have and has, those words by themselves. And then we'll bring them in with different subjects with emphasis on the S for he, she, it. And I have a tablet prop that I drew and the little boy and girl, Megan Mike, for to demonstrate he, she, they. So let's dive into that one. Have. Have. Good. Has. Has. Very good. I have. They. They have. They have. Very good. He has. He have? No. <laughs> He has. Very good. He has a tablet. He has a tablet. Very good. They has a tablet. They have a tablet. Great job. They have a tablet. Very good. Bye. And there you have all six of the slides. So I know that you'll be able to review these and feel more prepared. So when you see what slide they give you, you can set your phone down without closing the app, gather the things you need, and then do an awesome job presenting this one slide lesson. So start out with a 15 second introduction about yourself and end those slot, that slide with just a bye and you're done. The biggest thing I want to stress is that you implement what you learn when you watch those few videos and read the material before you go into the quiz and the demo. And reading and watching those things will only take you a few minutes. So do watch them, soak in what you've learned, and then implement it in your slide. You can bring your own unique teaching style to these slides. Just implement the foundations they teach you in that material and the things you've learned from this video. I want you to teach your heart out because how you do on this demo could determine part of your base pay. So give it your best effort knowing that you might be able to raise that pay 50 cents a class which is a dollar an hour and that's huge. The IP kid tries to get back with you within 24 hours. Isn't that awesome? You can know if you're hired for a job within 24 hours. If you don't hear back with them by 36, email them. I'll put the email here and in this video's description. Leave a comment below if you have any additional questions for me about the Smart Demo. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new videos every week about teaching ESL online. And I have more videos for the hiring process, so be sure to check those out. And remember, after you take this demo, you can no longer add a referring teacher. So be sure to apply a teacher in your account so that you can have help step-by-step step through the hiring process. And remember, I would love to help you, and if you use my code, be sure to email me. My code is R-E-B-E-C-2-2-2. -E 
0945. Be sure to let me know how your demo goes in the comments below or email me so we can chat about it and I can congratulate you when you pass. I'll see you later, my friends.